love of adored children. He believed in their innocence and truth. I don't think a single grown up he really trusted. We had good times at the Burkhoff. We had He would take endless walks and talk to his friends like Ribbentrop and Speer. They discussed world affairs and the arts. I was never very interested in politics, but I loved the movies. Wolf gave me a 16 millimeter camera for my 19th birthday, and I never went anywhere without it. When Eva's sister Ilse criticized Hitler's policies, Eva forbade her to broach such subjects at the Berghof, and once declared, stop talking about this Ilse, or else I'll tell him, and you know what he does with people like you. It is true that Ilse warned me against him, but she had no idea. Nobody knew him like I did. Hitler's favorite dog is called Blondie. He loves the dog perhaps more than anyone else in his life. He trains her to jump hurdles, shows her off, and tries several times to get the dog pregnant. Joseph Goebbels was a frequent visitor of the Berghof. He was always so charming and entertaining. Wolf even began to lighten up Joseph's visits. Joseph Goebbels would ultimately become a victim of his own propaganda. His wife Magda would kill their children with strychnine and then go on to poison herself. Goebbels would later commit suicide in his office ministry of propaganda. Hitler has a habit of complimenting the ladies in his entourage, always kissing their hands. But his motto is, divide and conquer. He makes sure the women are kept separate when the men discuss urgent matters, and his close advisors themselves are kept separate. In fact, 
Hitler seems to count on their rivalries to keep him in supreme command. 